sent many prophets to spread the message of Islam. The Quran is a guide for all of Allah's followers and in the Quran there are 25 prophets mentioned. One of these is Prophet Adam peace be upon him and today I'm going to tell you his story. Do you ever wonder where everything came from? Who put the apple in the apple tree? The flowers in the earth and the fish in the sea? Should I tell you? Allah did. Allah made the mountains and he made the seas. He made all of the animals. He made the skies, he made the moon and he made the sun. He created the heavens and the beautiful angels with pure hearts who did everything that he commanded. Then Allah decided to create man. He told an angel to bring him some clay and with that he molded the first man. He called him Adam and told the angels that Adam, peace be upon him, was the best of his creation. Allah taught Adam many, many things so that he had even more knowledge than the angels. However, there was one jinn called Iblis who thought he was better than Adam because he was made of fire. Allah told the angels to bow down to Adam, but he refused. Because of this, Allah didn't let him stay in paradise with the other angels and this made Iblis very angry. Although paradise was a lovely place, Adam began to get lonely, so Allah decided to help him. He created a companion for Adam and called her Hawa. Hawa became Adam's wife and they lived happily together in paradise. There was however one thing that they weren't allowed to do there and this was to eat the fruit of a special tree. Adam and Hawa were very good at first. They stayed away from the tree but Shaitan was very naughty and he told them that they were silly to stay away from the tree. He said nothing would happen to them if they ate the fruit and that the, it was delicious. They should definitely try it. After a while, they began to listen to Shaitan and they thought they'd have just a small bit to taste. Shaitan was very happy because he wanted them to disobey Allah. As soon as they'd eaten the fruit, they realized they'd made a big mistake and they were so sorry. Allah forgave them, but told them that they couldn't stay in paradise anymore. He sent them to the earth where they began to live and they had many, many, many children. To learn more about the prophets, watch out for more prophet stories in this series. Ooh.